In this unit you will learn how to compute the angle between vectors and the area of the parallelogram and triangle included between two vectors. You will review and practice the computation of angle between vectors, the computation of areas of triangles and parallelograms, revise the computation of the scalar or dot product of vectors, the computation of the vector or cross product of vectors and the computation of the length of a vector. To calculate the angle between two vectors A and B with included angle theta we use the dot product of the vectors. Now the dot product of two vectors is given by A dot B is AXBX plus AYBY plus AZBZ. But the dot product also satisfies the formula A dot B is the modulus of A times the modulus of B times the cosine of theta where theta is the angle between the vectors A and B as shown in the picture below. So for example let us calculate the angle between the vectors A, which is 2 minus 1, 3, and B, which is 1, 4 minus 1. To solve this problem, we first of all calculate the dot product of A and B, which is 2 times 1, plus minus 1 times 4, plus 3 times minus 1, which is minus 5. Then we calculate the lengths of the two vectors A and B and the length of a is the square root of 2 squared plus minus 1 squared plus 3 squared which is the square root of 14 and the length of b is the square root of 1 squared plus 4 squared plus minus 1 squared which is the square root of 18 then if we plug these values into the formula a dot b is the length of a times the length of b times cos theta we get minus 5 is equal to the square root of 14 times the square root of 18 times the cosine of theta. If we rearrange this formula we get that cosine theta is equal to minus 5 divided by the square root of 14 times the square root of 18 which implies that theta is the inverse cosine of minus 5 over the square root of 14 times the square root of 18 which is approximately 108 degrees. Here are some more for you to try with the answers below. Now we're going to look at calculating the area of the parallelogram included by two vectors. So if we have a vector A and a vector B with included angle theta then the parallelogram we're talking about is this one in the picture below. It has sides along A and B. To compute the area of this parallelogram we use the following formula that the vector product of A and B is the modulus of A or the length of A times the length of B times the sine of the included angle times a unit vector which is perpendicular to A and B and forms a right-handed set with A and B. Then the area of the parallelogram is the modulus of A times the modulus of B times sine theta which is just the modulus of A vector product with B. In this example we calculate the area of the parallelogram included by the vectors A which is 2 minus 1 3 and B which is 1 4 minus 1. To solve this problem as we've previously said we just calculate the modulus of a cross b and a cross b is 1 minus 12 3 minus minus 2 8 minus minus 1 which is minus 11 5 9 and the modulus of this vector is the square root of 11 squared plus 5 squared plus 9 squared which is the square root of 227 here are some more for you to do 
with the answers given on the right below. We remark here that to calculate the area of the included triangle, just half the area of the included parallelogram. So if we have vector A and vector B with included parallelogram in yellow with angle theta, the included triangle is this one in purple below. Okay, you have reached the end of this unit. Well done. You have practiced the computational of angle between vectors, the computation of areas of triangles and parallelograms, the computation of scalar and dot products of vectors, the computation of vector or cross product of vectors, and the computation of the length of a vector. Now you should go and do the second Maple TA test, angles and areas with dot and cross products.